This is Stanley Oliver McGee, my new dog. Stanley is about one year old. He's a Papillon Pomeranian mix. This is his second day with me, August 13th, 2013, and we're about ready to go out on our second walk of the morning. Come on, Stan, let's go. Stan, let's go. We're going to go on a walk. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Stan. Let's get ready to go on a walk, okay? No, stop that. You don't bark at the neighbors. No. No, don't bark at the neighbors. No, don't bark at the neighbors. No, don't bark. No, Stanley. It seems like it's been such a long time since uh, I've had a dog with whom I can take long, long walks. Uh, my old dog, Waldo, who was a beagle, and I used to take epic length walks. And on those walks, I would usually carry a video camera or a tape recorder of some sort and record various sounds and let Waldo kind of go where his nose led him and uh, I would record the sounds that were there wherever he went in kind of a, as I've described it before, a kind of psychogeographic drift. Well, I'm looking forward to doing that again with this new dog. This is Oliver. Stanley Oliver, that is. Stanley Oliver McGee, the Papillon Pomeranian mix, who I just got yesterday. It's about a year old. It's a perky little dog. Okay, nature dog, let's go. Come, Stanley. Stanley, come on. Come on, Stan. Let's go, Stanley! <laughs> Come on! bark at people, Stanley. Now you be nice. Be nice to neighbors. Be nice to no. Be nice to neighbors. You be nice to neighbors. Come on. Let's go, Stan. Stanley. Come on, Stanley. Let's go. Okay, come on. Let's go. It's okay. You don't need to freak out just because there's people walking by. Let's go, Stan. Let's go. Ooh, I wonder what this disgusting matter is. Ew. Looks like dead animal. Oh. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Stan. Come on. No, no. We stay out of dead animal matter. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. No, no. The various mundane neighborhood sites that you are seeing in this video is where so many of the sounds that were recorded on many of my field recording based tapes of the 
2000s. All, all of that was recorded, or a lot of it was recorded on these sites here. The very things that you're seeing in this video. It's been a little while since I've been down this way on a walk, ever since Waldo uh, and I went on our last long walk uh, a couple years ago. And now, here's Stanley Oliver. He's exploring the same stuff. Come on, Stan, let's go. Let's go on marathon walk. Cracks in pavement for David Waldman. There you go, but he's not barking at them, Dave. Another disappoint. Stanley, come on. Stan, 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 let's go. Let's go. Come on, Stan. This is the week before uh, the fall semester at the University of Florida starts. There isn't really a whole lot of traffic compared to the way it normally is. Oh yeah, the trash retens retention basin pit in front of these apartments here. Just lovely, just a lovely, lovely thing. And so the traffic's not quite as heavy as it will be next week uh, when I take Stanley out for his walks. Uh, it's kind of a dead week here in Gainesville, uh, and uh, so we're taking our walk here. Come on, Stan, let's go, buddy. Let's go, Stan! When I moved to Ventura Apartments on Southwest 20th Avenue in Gainesville back in 91, October of 91, these apartments here and these over here across the street were not yet built. In fact, these... These were, this was nothing but pine trees on both sides of 20th Avenue. It was agricultural pine, long rows. And you can see the remnants of it back there, but there were long rows of nothing but pine trees and underbrush. Also, uh, 22, 23, about 22 years ago when I moved to this area, this little road here was not yet built. We're at the corner of Southwest 20th Avenue and Southwest 38th Terrace. I think I seem to recall that this was either all woods here or there may have been a dirt road that came up through here or a path at best. Over here you can see a large radio or television tower and up there on the top, see all that junk up there on the top of that? That is an eagle nest. Uh, they doesn't, doesn't look like they're up there right now, and I'm not even really sure that that tower is being used anymore for its original use, but I have over the years seen eagles nesting up in the top of that. Come on, Stan. Lush Florida vegetation. Lush. Lush Florida vegetation. Hi, Stan. On this location here, for many years, there was an abandoned house uh, looks like it's been torn down in the last year or two because it's no longer there. That's where it used to be. Come on, Stan. Note the Spanish moss, the ubiquitous Spanish moss. 
We are now walking south towards Southwest 24th Avenue, which up until the last five or six years was an unpaved country road. Um, but uh, they've since paved it and uh, put in a um, roundabout down here, which ye shall witness, and which Stanley shall witness for the first time ever in his life. Ain't that a thrill, Stan? Note the beautiful pale lavender wildflowers. Come, nature dog, come. Southwest 24th Avenue. And we'll be making the big curve here and heading west on Southwest 24th Avenue. Come on, Stan. Okay, if you're interested, anybody, seven acres. It'll probably only be about, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 million dollars, something like that. You really can't see it because of the vegetation, but on the other side of that fence, over there on the other side of the Southwest 24th Avenue, is a big, gigantic retention basin, which is where all the water runs off from the big old Butler Plaza shopping complex which is down on Archer Road. I believe all of this area from here on down to Archer Road is owned by the Butler Corporation. Here we are Southwest 24th Avenue it's a Tuesday. I took the day off from work so I could be with my new dog. Oh, look at this lovely, lovely detail. Took the day off from work to be with my new dog, Stanley Oliver McGee. A Papillon Pomeranian mix on his first big walk. Actually, this is what we used to term, my brother and I, used to term this marathon walk when we took Waldo, my beagle, and Gracie Blue, the miniature dachshund, on this walk. We used to call it marathon walk because especially for Gracie Blue, who had the very, very short little legs, this was certainly a marathon of epic length for a little dog that small. Uh, Stanley seems to be doing quite well and doesn't seem to bother him one little bit. This little dog loves the outdoors and exercise. And here we have the Greater East Newport Baptist Church. I believe this was rebuilt sometime in the last 15 years or so. There used to be an older church on this site, but uh, I believe it burned down <laughs> and they rebuilt this newer structure or actually built this newer structure. You can see there on the other side of this chain fence or this metal wire fence that there's an older retaining fence to keep vehicles off the property, but this is, yes, very very nice barbed wire. How about that? You don't want to get in that. Luckily, you're too short for that, Stanley. Here you'll see the backs of apartment buildings, of apartment complexes, the entrances of which, hey, the entrances of which are along Southwest 20th Avenue. A lot of these apartments, uh, including mine, Ventura, have been here since the 
mid 1970s very old apartments uh, many of these long 20th now when I moved into Ventura back in 91 those were considered pretty good apartments uh, but 22 years later uh, with all of the newer apartments that have been built in the area with much more luxurious accommodations Ventura has declined in its popularity and certainly its quality in many respects but I still call it home and I love it wild wild jungle Florida in spite of the fact that Florida is one of the most heavily populated states in the United States of America it still feels wild frontier-like and certainly jungle-like I have the feeling that it could easily go back to jungle wild uh, ways within a short time if human beings left the area now see this is what I like a dog that leads on the walk at the full extension of the leash he knows it's his role and his duty to lead on the walk and uh, I follow and see this way I can also keep track of what he's doing in case he gets into mischief and bad business okay Stanley and I are now approaching Southwest 43rd Street Southwest 43rd runs along the west side of Ventura apartments where we live and so we are about to get to the last leg of our marathon walk as we as we'll be heading back up north on 43rd Street toward the front entrance of Ventura but there's a lot more to see between here and there Here's what I call bric-a-bracken. Bric-a-bracken undergrowth. Underbrush. Uh, I think there was a fire in this area many, many years ago. And as you can see, there's an open space there where there are no trees growing. Uh, and this underbrush has grown up in its place. Oh, there are those nice lavender flowers again. And there is Stanley Oliver McGee. Oh, look at those logs over there. Aren't those glorious? Huh. How about that? Okay, we're rounding the curve here onto Southwest 43rd Street in the southwest area of Gainesville, Florida. And I am walking with my new dog, Stanley Oliver. Of course, many of these apartments were built for the student population at the University of Florida. These here are especially box-like and cookie-cutter in their uh, design and overall look. 
just perfect for temporary housing for people who really won't care all that much because they won't be here forever unlike me and unlike Stanley Oliver. A bus stop uh, for the regional transit system of Gainesville. Uh, number 62 is one of my favorite routes because I can pick it up near the back entrance of Ventura Apartments and take it down to Butler Plaza to shop at the old Publix grocery store down there and soon the Guitar Center musical store will be there at the same location. Anyway, in about a week I'll be able to take that bus on my days off to go shopping and I can make a round trip, go down there, go to the grocery store and come back in just about half an hour to 45 minutes total round trip or stay down there longer and eat lunch if I care to but uh, looking forward to the beginning of the school year because that's when the buses run more frequently and there are more routes available it's a good thing that we are taking our marathon walk so early in the day because after the Sun gets up here uh, a little bit higher uh, it will be beastly hot and the heat index will go up probably to about 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit today which really not good to be out on that too long uh, so we went on our walk fairly early at about 8:30 or so which was a good move that both of us I think will appreciate uh, coming up here is the bus stop at which I will be getting off the RTS bus as I return from my bus forays to Butler Plaza to go shopping, as I just mentioned a few minutes ago. Looking north on 43rd Street. And stand! Run! He's got a fancy little tail, doesn't he? That flips over his back there. I guess uh, they were like squirrel dogs. Uh, that's a nickname, I think, for Papillons. Or Pomeranians, one of the two. I can't remember. I really can't remember which. Okay, over there across the street, you can see the sign for Southwest 43rd Street and Southwest 20th Lane. That is the other southwest 20th lane and when people used to come and visit me and they relied on MapQuest or Google Maps or something like that they were taken to the wrong location for my apartment I had to put in a change a request of change or, cor or correction with Google Maps uh, so that people could actually find 4230 southwest 20th lane mine this is the gate that is pictured on the tape cover of Contamination, the Contamination album by Noring McGee. And here we are heading north along the wooden fence along the west side of Ventura Apartments. And uh, over there is the is Forest Park where Waldo and I and Gracie used to take many a walk for many, many years together. And uh, Stanley and I went over there yesterday on his first day with me. Oh yes, you can see very nice soccer fields, basketball courts, and way, way over there in the corner by that picnic area over there, you can see that there, you might be able to see that there's a dog, fenced-in dog area, but I don't take my dogs there because that's nasty and germy and troublesome for sure uh, along here you can see the numbers which were painted spray painted onto the pavement these are the numbers that I recited uh, on the second side of my newest of my new collaboration with Frank Sturgeon a statistician's intramural crush these 
are the numbers. And this is Stanley Oliver McGee. Come on, Stan, let's go. Keep going. Let's go. And there is fire station number 19. Uh, many of you have no doubt heard the sounds of si emergency vehicle sirens on my recorded works. Well, that's where they originated. It's quite, uh, quite racketsome and uh, splendorous. And oh, new chicken sandwiches at Dunkin' Donuts. How oh, wonderful. More Crank Sturgeon collaboration numbers on the pavement in reverse. Here is the tennis court, the disused tennis court, I might add, where Waldo and I used to play ball when he was a puppy many, many years ago, around 1996 or 97. I used to come here and I used to throw a tennis ball and he would chase it a few times till he got sick of it. Uh, and we are going to go through here along the front of the tennis court. And here is the actually basically disused handball, racquetball court area where I recorded some material with Charles Rice Goff III on our Lobia Our Kumbi tape release from like what 98 early 98 I think Easter 98 there's the front of the Ventura apartment office we'll take a look inside the court here you've also seen some photos that I've taken in here of oh listen to the sound in here I've also seen some photos that I've taken in here of uh, my Casio SK-1. This is where I recorded some of the material for my micro cassette collaboration with Stefano Balis. And here we are. Now, that building right over there, 1909, over there in the upper left-hand corner on the end on the second floor, 1909E is where I used to live for most of the years that I li I've lived here in Ventura Apartments. I lived there from October of 91 till February of 2011, I believe it was, March. Here's where I go to mail many, many packages that I send to all of you. Uh, this is where I mailed most of the packages that have gone out for the Museum of Micro Cassette Art project. And here are the big postal lock boxes in case you send me a package that's too big to fit in my regular mailbox. That's where it'll be. And here we are heading back home. Stanley Oliver McGee is finishing up his first marathon walk here in Gainesville, his new home. He's originally from Georgia, the Marietta, uh, Atlanta area generally. Uh, he was a foster. He was a rescue dog who then spent uh, time with three or four different foster families. Uh, the last of which was my sister's family, who, where he was greatly loved, and uh, he's now with me. And uh, thanks to my sister Terry and uh, her husband Einer and her children uh, Sarah and Daniel for allowing me the joy of Stanley 
Oliver's company. I appreciate it, everybody. And thanks also to my brother Mark for helping me with Stanley and helping me to prepare his new home. And also thanks to my mom and dad for helping me out with getting things arranged for his arrival at his new home. Okay, over there is the mailbox apart for apartment F where I get all the mail that you send me. At least that which will fit into that box goes in that little box right over there. Oh, yep, taking care of business, Stanley, and up the steps we go, buddy. Let's go. There, there goes Stanley up the steps, bounding up the steps like it's nothing. Boy, that's an athletic little dog. And he'll be happy to get in where it's cool and air conditioned, and he can get a nice drink of water. I'm sure that he'll be appreciating the air conditioned comfort of 4230F Southwest 20th Lane. Yeah, hey, I got a drink, buddy. There he was, there he is, Stanley Oliver at the end of his first big marathon walk.